These bright green eggs are the very first step towards an incredibly beautiful moth of electric pink, gold, and green. These are the eggs of the small elephant hawk moth, or D. porcellus, a native of the United Kingdom and quite common there. And here we have our very first instar or hatchling. This caterpillar is so very tiny, it is difficult to move to plant material with even the finest paintbrush. They are nearly invisible. The babies are living in this setup for now and feeding on gallium, specifically sweet woodruff. And the only way you can know that they are eating is to look for these tiny spots of brown like you see here, which is caterpillar poop. All is good. After a couple of days under magnification, you can see the caterpillar a little better, and it is a tad greener now with some nice dorsal lines and is a busy eating machine. The next change in its appearance happens when eye spots appear behind the caterpillar's head. At this point, he's about an inch long, still very average looking, but at least he can be easily seen. This one here is just finishing a shed, walking out of his old skin and into the next instar. Here's a better look at those eye spots, and here you can see this larva showing off why they call them elephant hawk moths, as they appear to move like elephant trunks reaching around. But nothing quite prepares you for what happens next. Here is the final instar for this species, and what a change it is. A complete transformation of not only coloration but markings, now looking like a small snake with multiple eye spots and coloration ranging from browns to gray to black and a gold face. Now getting larger by the day, here you can see again its resemblance to the elephant trunk, both in color and markings if you look closely. You can see this one is currently eating, and at this point they consume huge amounts of plant material. Now let's take a look from another angle at its current size and head markings, and it won't be long now until they decide it's time to pupate. So keep watching to see part two of this incredible species journey from egg to moth.